back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to get all the halos in Royal High and yes I mean all the halos in Royal High or at least try to get most of the halos in Royal High so yeah but before we get started with this video make sure to go buy my merch it's only five robux and it will really help support me and the channel so yeah for future giveaways like roblox robux giveaways and other giveaways like that that inquire robux as a prize but also make sure to go like subscribe and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a single upload let's try to get this video to 100 likes i know so on to the tips so the first tip i have for you guys is wear something that's not expensive so you're probably noticing that i'm not wearing my expensive outfit or i'm not wearing an outfit i'm wearing my roblox avatar outfit well um what this is going to do is if you wear like your halo let's say if i'm wearing my valentine's day halo right here people are more likely to trade me more stuff for example or offer me more stuff they know or they see that i don't have a lot of items so they're probably gonna offer me like a bunch of skirts a bunch of heels because they know i'm gonna say yes or am i gonna say yes so yeah, obviously, if you don't wear an expensive outfit, people are more likely to offer you more than if you wear a really expensive outfit. They're not going to offer you, offer you as much because they see you have a lot of the items, so they're going to offer you less. The next tip I have for you guys is do Halo for Halo. So what I mean by this is, like, maybe um, wear your least uh, low tier halo and then try to upgrade that halo as you go on to the tier. For example, if I wear my Valentine's Day Halo 2019 because it's the lowest tier halo I have, if I wear my Valentine's Day Halo 2019 and I do halo for halo, I can basically get like higher tier halos if you know what I mean because I know this halo is on high demand for some reason I don't understand why because it's the second most common halo but if I do halo for halo people might offer me like a light halo or like a Halloween halo 2018 and if I keep upgrading the tiers from that um, if I keep upgrading the tiers, I might get a really good Halo, like I know maybe the Mermaid Halo, and then I can either sell that for diamonds or get a higher tier Halo, or just keep it. And if you guys have like a high demand Halo, which those include the Valentine's Day Halo 2019, the 2021, the Mermaid Halo, the Light Halo, you can literally trade those Halos for lower tier Halos, if you know what I mean. And now that brings us on to the third tip. If you guys can, take one of your double halos that you have or a halo that people really want and then trade it for two under tier halos. What this is going to do is give you basically you're getting out of one halo, you're getting two halos if you know what I mean. And then if you keep on doing that, you're eventually going to have all the halos. tip I have for you guys is if you can sell your halos for diamonds. If you sell your halos for diamonds, what this is going to do is, for example, if you buy a halo for 100,000 diamonds, sell it for either double or triple the price. Because if you do, you can buy like at least two or three halos out of that, if you know what I mean. You can buy two or three halos out of just one halo. So if you trade your halo for diamonds, you can get the halo back plus get another halo, if that makes any sense. So if you guys watched this video, you guys saw that I had a lot of halos. And I know you guys were um, asking me how I got those halos. And no, I did not scam anyone for halos. What I did is always traded the halos for diamonds. Like, always, always, always for diamonds. The fifth tip I have for you guys is get limited items. Like, if you go into the shop that are not um, that are not on sale anymore, like, if you look at the items that are not on sale, for example, the Shadow Empress that I know people go crazy over these boots. If you can get, like, either one of them or two of them, because uh, I know people trade a lot for these. Like, I've seen people trade 200,000 diamonds just for these boots. And people trade, like, at about 100,000. And my friend Bunny Marshmallow, she actually got the Halloween Halo 2018 just from the Shadow Empress boots. And that was, that was such a lucky trade. So if you guys can get any of the Shadow Empress that I know people trade a lot for them. Like, even a Halo for just the whole set or part of the set. I've seen it. And, yeah, obviously, who doesn't want that? like that is that that is a good trade also you can try to get the um 
the Princess Star Frost figure skates or any of the Princess Star Frost set because I know people also really want that and they would trade a Halo for it. Sixth tip I have for you guys is be nice to people because if you're not nice then nobody would want to trade you. The seventh tip I have for you guys is if you can get double the items if you know what I mean. If you get double the items and then you trade one away like you can still have another one to keep for yourself or you can like trade two if you know what I mean. If you trade two that uh, might give the person like might want the person to trade you more like if you have two shadow emperor's boots obviously it's two of them and that's like two rare items so who wouldn't want to trade their i don't know limited item for two shadow emperor's the eighth tip i have for you guys we're almost done with the video by the way the eighth tip i have for you guys is we're like something like eye catching for example like maybe wear all your all your halos at once so if you wear all your halos at once who wouldn't want to trade that person that has like all the halos like i mean most of the halos who wouldn't want to trade a person that has basically most of the halos like i know when i go into servers if, if i see somebody that has most of the halos i want i'm going to trade them so obviously if you guys want put all your halos on and then people are going to be more likely to trade you and then you can discuss the trade in the trade the ninth tip i have for you guys is if you don't want people to trade you just turn off your trading settings so and you can put in your name like okay so i'm trading my valentine's day halo for the mermaid halo or something like that and finally, the 10th tip I have for you guys is go in the crowd. Like, when I mean go in the crowd, I mean, like, go where all the drama or all the tea is because, or where all the trading's happening because you're going to be more known. So, like, for example, if there's, like, people trading over here and I'm just sitting and chilling over here, nobody's going to notice me. Like, nobody's gonna notice me just sitting here. Like, nobody's gonna notice me. So, go into the crowd, speak, interact, say, like, I'm trading my Valent Val Halo. Oh my god, my Val Halo for Mermaid or something. Like, type that in chat. Type what you're saying in chat so people can, like. But, trade. anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications so you never miss a single upload. Here are the shout outs for the people who bought my shirt thank you guys so much for buying my shirt it really means a lot to me and also shout out to this girl right here she did give me the shadow empress corset i'm literally so grateful thank you so much i i i'm so grateful for you guys thank you guys for uh for all you guys that give me free stuff i try to offer like i try to give them diamonds so if you guys are gonna offer me like something for free i'm obviously gonna give you diamonds i'm not gonna just steal your items away from you guys because it makes me feel really bad so if you guys are going to give me something for free i'm definitely going to give you diamonds because i don't like free stuff i feel really bad in the end so yeah but anyways guys i was bye. hanging with you and then i realized i didn't think it was true i was surprised when i found out i'd fallen for you